it's the Halloween season and that means candy. So today we're going to make dark chocolate fruit and nut bonbons to pass out to all the little trick-or-treaters in your neighborhood. These dark chocolate fruit and nut bonbons are so easy to make. Let me tell you a little bit about the ingredients. First of all, we have some toasted pecans and toasted walnuts. This is a quarter cup each and I toasted them for five minutes after I chopped them in the oven at 350 degrees. A quarter cup chopped means after they're chopped, not a quarter cup of walnuts or, or pecans before you chop them, if that helps any. Then we're gonna have three tablespoons of salted and roasted pepitas, which are pumpkin seeds, and you can find them in your grocery store. And then I need a half a cup of just diced dried fruit. You can use raisins, you can use craisins, you can use pineapple, apricots, um, mango, whatever kind of dried fruit you like. Today I'm gonna to use dried cranberries and dried apricots. But one of the best ingredients and the funnest one is candy ginger. And this you can buy in your grocery store over kind of in the oriental aisle, or you can buy it online. I buy the big bags, so we always have it around. It's a big piece like this, and then you just dice it. The same thing that I did with my apricots. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna melt um, 16 ounces of dark chocolate in the microwave. So this will take a couple minutes. You want to do it at maybe 60 seconds and then give it a stir, then another 60 seconds, give it a stir until it's completely melted. And so I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so my chocolate has melted very smoothly and now I'm going to add all of the ingredients. So I've got the pecans, the walnuts, the pepitas, the craisins, apricots, and the candy ginger. The candy ginger is really what makes these. They're so good. Now I'm just gonna mix them all together. This is such a simple recipe. So now the, the easiest way, I think, to make these is to put them on a full line baking sheet. You can use parchment paper. You don't need to spray it. It's not going to stick. When the candy hardens, it'll pop right off. I'm going to use two spoons and just make little dollops, little bonbon sized candies. Okay, so the bonbons are all plated and they're still very wet. And while they're wet, what I want to do is sprinkle just a little bit of coarse sea salt on top. Dark chocolate is not as sweet as milk chocolate, but still the sea salt kind of helps cut the sugar. These are just so good. I can't, I can't explain it to you. You're going to have to make them and try them yourself. This is one of my favorite desserts. I make it lots of times for dinner parties. And it's healthy. You know, this, are, this is good for you. Dark chocolate has antioxidants. Nuts and fruit are good for you. It's all good. Since it's Halloween, we're going to spook them up a little bit. So I have some little sprinkles. I'm going to do some with the monster colors. Green. Let's see. And then I have a couple other ones. Got some orange and black. Then I have these little, oops, wrong side. these little guys. Sprinkle some of those on top. This is going to take a little while for this going to take a little while for these to harden. Um, if you can't wait, pop them in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes and then they'll peel right off of the um, tin foil. Okay, now that these are ready, 
If you can't wait, you can put them in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes and then they'll pop right off the foil. But if you can wait, just put them in a cool room and it'll take a couple hours for the chocolate to harden. After they're made, they do not have to be refrigerated. I've already made these and I've bagged them up for Halloween treats, which I thought was kind of fun. I have these little goodie bags that are clear. They come with twist ties. And so I've just bagged two candies in each one and then I've used a spider ring to put on it um, just to decorate and it's also a little star sheet to go with it. So when the little trick-or-treaters come to your house, you can hand out candy that you've made yourself and that's good for them instead of the stuff you buy in a bag at the grocery store and they'll love it. Trick or treat and happy Halloween. If you'd like to see more recipes like this, please subscribe. For complete ingredients and cooking instructions and to purchase cookbooks, visit cateringbydebbiecovington.com.